352 and Sports Card Investor are two completely separate businesses. Which... Um, my team at 352. I own a digital agency called 352. 352 uh, took out two PPP loans for the sole purpose of paying those employees and keeping the business operating during a time when sales dropped significantly. And uh, we do a lot of innovation work, growth work. And as part of that, we do marketing, build software, build websites. I have an awesome team there. Nick, great designer, helped me with the sports card investor brand. Peter J and Blake helped build the very first version of the website. Option. 352 and Sports Card Investor are two completely separate businesses. Which... Brad has been absolutely an awesome developer. He architected most of the Market Movers data platform. Rich. Thankfully, Sports Card Investor did not need a PPP loan during the pandemic, nor did we apply for one, nor did we take one. Rich, uh, awesome member of my leadership team, helped Brad as well. Uh, Logan, many, many others at 352 have participated and really helped build uh, market movers along the way. Thanks. 352 and Sports Card Investor are two completely separate businesses. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false. I want the truth! This is absolutely 100% false. I want the truth! The Congress will push me to raise taxes and I'll say no. And they'll push and I'll say no. And they'll push again and I'll say to them, read my lips. No. Others are intentionally perpetuating lies about me for the purpose of getting views and gaining notoriety. I am here to set the record straight. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan, period. I want the truth! Is this, true? Is this true? <laughs> no, it's not true. I'll, I'll pull back the curtain. It's just, it was staged, guys. Okay? It was just. Oh, joking. that was last week in Dallas. Yes, we're yeah, joking, gotcha. okay? I'm, I'm popping, I was worried. I'm, I'm pulling back the curtain. I'm shattering the glass. It was all staged. I want the truth. Hey, I'm, I'm here to kill and be killed. 352 and Sports Card Investor are two completely separate businesses. I want the truth. Hey, Stock in California. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff Wilson, the sports card investor, spent at least $2.5 million on sports cards from February 2020 through November 2022. That according to a video done in April by MindCycle Cards. A link to the spreadsheet in the video is in the description showing all the cards. So Jeff spent $2 million on cards during the pandemic. Jeff conveniently got a $2 million government forgiven PPP loan for another business he ran called 352. When we at Sports Card Radio questioned how a man spent $2 million on sports cards during the pandemic, but also got a $2 million PPP loan that was meant for struggling businesses, the people with street smarts in the industry certainly raised an eyebrow. Some content creators with no street smarts, and I won't name them here, but I maybe will in a lawsuit later, said that Sports Card Radio better be telling the truth and that there was no way Jeff was commingling his 352 business and his sports card investor business. They said the two businesses had nothing to do with each other. That's what we were told. 352 and Sports Card Investor are two completely separate businesses. Jeff Wilson was so furious that we questioned how he was able to spend $2 million on sports cards, but also had a struggling other business. Jeff, in fact, sent a 35-page document to my home address threatening legal action. You are not the person 
that I have ever thought about suing. That was over six months ago. What we learned today is that Jeff Wilson supposedly employs 50 people at his 352 agency. Jeff personally name dropped six of his 50 employees that work at 352 and said that many, many other of his 352 employees have worked on and built sports card investor and market movers. Many, many others at 352 have participated and really helped build uh, market movers along the way. I find it interesting that Jeff never mentioned that 352 helped build his sports card investor business. In December of 2022, when people were discussing his PPP loans, I would have several questions for Jeff. Did some of the PPP money used to pay employees at your 352 business? Were those employees also working on your sports card investor business? Jeff, what was your sports card investor business paying your 352 business for the work being done? Did your sports card investor business pay 352 at all? That would be a very important question. Yeah. Jeff, why didn't you mention the connection between the two businesses when you were on your couch in December of 2022 and essentially accused sports card radio of lying? So while others are intentionally perpetuating lies about me for the purpose of getting views and gaining notoriety, I am here to set the record straight. Jeff, why isn't the connection to 352 and sports card investor mentioned in the 35 page lawsuit threat you sent to my home address in December of 2022? Jeff, in fact, went to great lengths to explain how the two businesses were separate. Jeff, what was your salary compensation you were paid at 352, the company that needed a $2 million? government forgiven PPP loan. Why, Jeff, does it seem like your sports card investor business and your card purchases picked up steam right around the time your 352 company got a $2 million PPP loan? At the very least, the optics still look horrible. What's happened? It's not surprising to me at all that the influencers who said we'd better be telling the truth about sports card investor didn't do any research at all on sports card investor and his business. When people hear anything negative going on in the hobby, they will rush to a microphone to tamp it down and wag fingers at Sports Card Radio. I want to say this, Sports Card Radio, you should be ashamed of yourself. I believe that Sports Card Investor used PPP money fraudulently to build his Sports Card Investor business. It appears that Jeff used PPP loan money to pay his 352 employees to work on his Sports Card Investor business and likely wasn't paying his 352 business for the work. Jeff essentially used government money to help build his sports card investor business. PPP loans were meant to pay employees at struggling businesses. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has proven to me that Jeff and his businesses were legitimately struggling at the time. Jeff could even help drive down the revenue numbers at his 352 business. Why? Because they may have been working essentially for free for his sports card investor business. One of my other businesses, a web development and digital marketing agency called 352, got crushed early in the pandemic. Remember, to get a second PPP loan, you had to prove your business went down 25% during the pandemic. What better way to drive down business and revenue than having your employees working on another business you own and not paying 352 for the work? Yeah. Jeff, you are welcome to come on Sports Card Radio and answer all the questions I have asked you and more. You will need to send a formal letter to us stating that we are relieved of all legal liability. That has to come first. But if I receive something from your lawyer saying that I won't get sued, you are welcome to come on Sports Card Radio and tell us how we just perpetually lie about you for views and likes. And for everybody who doesn't like this content, I have these words for you. Suck my fucking PPP. I want the truth!